In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very lovely heart shaped animated slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I put a pink background. And when I click, the heart shape comes with the title and the detailed text, and then the smaller heart shapes will appear. And you can see here the heart is beating and then I've added some bouquet effect in the background. So you have you can use this particular slide for a variety of uh, reasons. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to add the heart shape for that you can go to insert shapes and by default uh, you have got the heart shape here but i'm not going to use this one i'm going to draw my own heart shape for that i'm going to go to the rectangles and i'm going to select this one which is the rectangles top corner rounded you can see here so i'm going to make maybe this much size or i can change it later also not a problem and then the orange point at the top make it or drag this inside so that it becomes a complete curve shape let me just go to the view and enable the guides then i'm going to format align center align middle something like this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the alt key and three times i'm going to press the left arrow key by holding the alt key okay so let me just hold the alt key and one two three times okay let me just move this here and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate let me just give some other shape uh, other color okay and then you can see here let me just make it straight all right and again i'm just going to make it align center align middle and then alt right arrow key three times one two and three can you see here i have got this shape of the heart can you see so let me just select both these shapes shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe i can just give some red color all right and i can just go to merge shape and union also so you can see here i got a perfect heart shape let me just close the guides okay and hold the shift key and increase the size according to your requirement so like this you can get a perfect you can see here a heart shape like this so let me just change the background to any uh, light pink color or gradient fill i can do it so right mouse click go to format background and under fill select the gradient fill so here i have used you can see here the rose pink and this one the this also a kind of a rose color all right and then i've selected the type as radial and direction you can just choose any direction you want now let me just select this shape of the heart and then go to format shape fill and i'm going to make it somewhat lighter color it's it's, it's too dark you can see here so maybe i can just choose this color okay red and then i'm going to add a few more shapes on top of this so that it looks uh, more uh, realistic or more kind of a 3d effect so what you can do is for example let me just go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the oval shape here draw the oval shape you can see here something like this all right and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it wide and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here so you, you got a kind of a, a you know kind of a 3d look here some shadow this one some shining effect or the glossy effect like this what i can do is for example press ctrl d to duplicate this one you can see here let me just give some a darker color okay and then go to insert shapes using the oval shape i'm just going to cut only the top part okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this hold the shift key and select this you can go to and just select intersect all right and this also i'm going to give some a soft adjust all right and then this has to come here you can see here so something like this you can add as many shapes as you want okay for in even for this side also you can think of adding so many things 
so uh, once you add all those stuff and if you feel that this is okay it's okay if not you can add more things here so let me just add one more thing here let me just select press ctrl d and i'm going to give again a dark color insert shapes and i'm going to select the oval shape and only the bottom part only i'm going to keep it so let me just cover it the whole you can see here from the top and then select this hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract and this one either you can make it more lighter and then go to the soft edges increase the soft edges and then just place it here so you got kind of a, a 3d look so let me add one more in the center again i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate go to format i'm going to select the white color if you want you can hold the shift key reduce the size also all right and this also i'm going to make it full soft edges you can see here so something like this also you can put it here all right so once this design it's okay uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just surround this with small heart shapes all right so you can use any color of heart shapes or you can use red also or a different color combination it's up to you so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a ctrl g to group it okay and ctrl d to duplicate it let me just duplicate this you can see here and then hold the shift key and reduce the size all right and if it is not visible here you can just you can see here you can come here and reduce the size so you can see here you can just make something like this also so like this i'm just going to randomly select few shapes and if i want i can just give some a uh, lighter color also okay some color like this you can see here again press ctrl d make it some random shapes i'm going to make it smaller bigger all right again i want to add few more here and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to choose a white fill only okay see a white fill and if i want i can just give some shadow effect for this so i'm going to the shadows and i'm going to choose uh, this inner center okay because it's a uh, group item what i'm going to do let me just ungroup this all right and i'm just going to keep delete this one i don't want all those things i'm just going to use only this one let me just select the others and delete it so this one let me just go to the shadows and because the group items you cannot use the inner shadows so i'm just going to make it inner make it a gray color increase the blur size you can see here still you can make it more lighter and then put it here all right you can make it bigger smaller so different different shapes you can just add it one by one all right so make it ctrl d reduce it further you can see here and if you want to add some shadow effects like for example i want to select this or this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to fill this with black no shadow effect here and then i'm going to increase the transparency you can see here and i'm just going to add it here something like this and then select the white one and bring this to front all right so like this you can give some shadow effect press ctrl d maybe you can add the shadow effect here for this and select this one bring to front so you can see here like this you can add so many shadow effects or different shapes also you can add it here so once you have done all this stuff what you can do is you can just add the text here go to insert text box and add or uh, i can just say add your title here okay make it white 
and choose some nice fonts you can see here and just increase the size all right so if the font is not good you can just choose some other font also of your choice maybe i can just use this or this all right and then you can add the detail text at the bottom here equals lorem within brackets one and i'm going to make it white reduce the size you can see here our design is ready and it's time to add a small mod uh, animation effect to this so and in the background you can add some bouquet effect for example let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to use a old shape hold the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then you can go to the soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate you can give some lighter color also so just you can just keep on duplicating add as many as you want depending on your requirement okay so you can see here i'm just going to use some different combinations so let me just put add some more so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate add the other side here again ctrl d maybe i can just rotate this a little bit and put it here and then i'm just selecting all of this and then send this to back all right so like this you can add some bouquet effect here now let me just add some animation to it so go to the animations uh, close the format shape enable the animation pane and then the first one which is uh, you can see here this one what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the effect so go to the add animation go to the more entrance effects and i'm going to set the basic zoom you can see here click ok so it plays something like this and then for the same shape i'm going to add one more animation so you have to click on the add animation and you can go to the more emphasis effects or I can just click on the grow and shrink here which i'm going to select this so here double click this one and grow and shrink custom I have to, i'm going to type only 105 percent and press the enter key okay and select the auto reverse go to the timings make it fast and repeat until end of the slide and click okay and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here it's kind of a heart is beating then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select each one and i'm going to first of all wherever the shadow effect is there let me just group it so like this you can group it with the shadow effect let me just select this one also or i can select both press ctrl g to group it and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all the heart shapes the small heart shapes you can see here and then i'm going to add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to give stretch and click ok and this should happen after previous and then this one you can just randomly increase the the delay here okay so random i can just increase as per my requirement you can see here if i play it comes something like this you can see here and then you can put the this also i can group it and then i want this to uh, again come from the my example i'm just going to maybe basic zoom again that should happen and this should happen maybe on click or with previous or how whatever or i can just move this up also let me just select this and move this here and should happen maybe after previous okay so example if i play let me just play it here so like this it comes all right and for this this bouquet effect what i can do is i can just group this together or i can just make it a fade effect fade effect should happen after previous so if i play the slide now see it comes something like this you can see here so this way you can just make your own slides and impress the audience with your creativity